Gordon Selfridges arrived from Chicago in 1906 with his heart set to open a store in London where everyone is uh, welcome being his motto. And he founded this in 1908 and opened it in 1909. On the current location you, we have got now in Oxford Street. Later on, more Selfridges stores were open in Manchester, in Birmingham and other locations. And as we enter on the main entrance of the many entrances we have got on the ground floor, we are welcomed by the perfume section. And as usual, after passing through the perfume section, I like going to the jewelry section, which is very, very expensive. But this is where I get my inspiration for future trends. And I remember some years ago seeing a gorgeous diamond ring here, which was priced, I think, £25,000, so rather expensive. No way I would buy something like that. And if you clicked it to one side, it opened the flower, and if you clicked it to the other side, it closed the flower. So this was so beautiful. Uh, it set my heart on to getting a diamond ring in that style, of course, more simplistic, which you saw in one of my uh, videos of last year, I think. As we pass through the main area of Selfridges, trying to reach the main escalator, which will take us to the top floors, we are going to pass now through what I call the bug area, located on the eastern side of Selfridges. So, more towards Oxford Circus. Here you have got lots of designer bags and they're all beautiful in different ways. Again, great to see the future trends. to the upper floors we are going to take now the main escalator and the only you have got at Selfridges. Of course being lots of elevators located all around on the eastern and western part of Selfridges and we are going to pass through the first floor where nowadays there are us in the past a men's section it used to be so much bigger and nowadays there are also lots of designer for women due to the higher demand of women uh, fashion and on the second floor there are lots of designer again for women as you can see uh, this is set like this for many many years although more recently it looks like they had a uh, new restructuring probably getting rid of the brands that weren't uh, selling much just the way it was done at harold's and you saw in a previous video only filmed some 10 days ago of course i had to be monkeying around in front of a mirror as you saw me there and now we are taking the elevator to the top Floors. On the next floor, on the third floor, it is the Women High Street section and much more. And then on the top floor, nowadays has been changed onto area for kids. Uh, in the past, it used to be homeware and I purchased so many items for home from this section. So it's a pity they got rid of lots of homeware nowadays. And uh, if you like to find something unique, probably you'll have to go to John Lewis, also located in Oxford Street, less than five minutes walk away. At the eastern side of Selfridges, they decided to still keep the food area, one of the many food areas which you find here and also on the ground floor, besides many other cafes scattered here and uh, there. After 
doing more monkeying around on the top floor, I had again to go back to the lower uh, floors and of course stopping on the uh, lower ground where nowadays they have got a massive chocolate section again moved from the section that used to be on the uh, ground floor and which is much bigger i think nowadays uh, with all this many chocolatier and uh, of course i had to stop at a uh, new house one of my favorite chocolates the manon cafe being sold there as you can as you saw in the previous video I filmed at Harrods and of course we had to pass through the wine section and the home section with the technology section uh, being great but not as big as the one at Harrods where more expensive items are and uh, this is because Selfridges is more set towards more acceptable or within a budget kind of items that is why it has a higher popularity than Harrods. Harrods is set for the more expensive items yet uh, both are accessible if you are going to buy say basic things and not just designer. Of course designer items are going to be more expensive but if you want designer items the way us Europeans do we go to France or we go to Italy and we purchase there even on sale because they have got a sale just the way Tom Ford has got a great sale in North North America and you can find some great dresses for only say $75 so especially if the pound will be stronger than the dollar then you have a very good saving there technology section we are going to go back as I said on the ground floor stopping at Pierre Hermé uh, because of the great macarons they have got there and I love if you remember at uh, Harrods I purchased some different type of macarons from La Dure, which are equally uh, beautiful I love my macarons and my new house chocolates and then of course we had to pass through the cake area which is always in the same section on the ground floor and which I simply love nothing has changed here so yeah lots of great items to buy from the uh, football as ever I hope all this information was of uh, any help to you learn where to go at Selfridges is a great place to go to just like like the other stores you have got on Oxford Street John Lewis which I highly recommend and the many others so if you are set on buying items Oxford Street is a great place where you can find lots of items from very cheap to very expensive you just have to learn where to do your shopping 
So with this in mind, I hope all this information was a uh, help to you. Thank you for watching and have a very nice day. Bye.